if you remain patient, grateful, then Allah will grant you a miracle. Just like Isra wa Miraj happened to the Messenger وسلم, Because if you are going through that right now, some, some trouble, some, some turmoil, some heartbreak, some issues right now, just know that you are following that Sunnah path. That is the Sunnah path. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And I pray that this video helps you elevate yourself to the next level as this story is about to elevate uh, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, if you don't know what Isra al Miraj is, um, that's okay, we're gonna learn that together today, inshallah. If you already know what it is, uh, then perhaps that you can be someone who <clears throat> not only takes benefit from this video, but also perhaps add some benefit. So tell us in the comment section below if there's something I miss out or I could have uh, pointed out a little bit more at. Uh, but you're a part of this community as well too, and please just jump in the comment section below and uh, say whatever you would like as well too. You see, Isra al Miraj was really, really special. Uh, and before you even go, let me just define what it means. It means uh, the night's journey and like ascension. Okay, so it's the night's journey and ascension. Um, before I could talk about this night's journey and the goodness that we got from this night's, uh, from this night's journey and how it's changed uh, the foundation of Islam, a gift, something special. I want to talk about what led to Isra al Miraj. Isra al Miraj, to the average person who probably knows this story as well, thinks it's a joyous occasion, celebration. Yes, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is honored, led all of the prophets in Salah, ascended to the heavens, passed a heaven that no other prophets ever ascended to. At a level, highest, he is solidified, his heart washed with Zamzam once more. His heart removed by the angels, washed in a bowl of Zamzam, special water, keep that in mind, and placed back into him. It was done once before. Tell me the comment section below when that was. It sounds like a joyous occasion. Wow, doing this, all this, and then it sends up and, you know, uh, gets a gift from Allah and this and that. But that was all a result of heartache, turmoil, frustration self-doubt to some degree, beating himself up, feeling bad, feeling sad. A lot of us have linked sadness to a lack of Iman and that's just plain wrong because it's not one, it's not true um, because this year that Isra al Miraj even happened, happened due to a year called the year of sorrow or the year of sadness. So if your theory out there is because, because you have sadness and weakness and depression and you feel, you know, icky, it just means you have weak iman. It's not true because there's a year called that. Could it be an indicator? An indicator? Could it be an indicator of your level of iman, of how you can improve it and maybe rooms of improvement? I think that's fair to say. Okay. This night's journey happened due to the heartache and the turmoil that the Messenger وسلم, experienced. He experienced what? Going to Taif, propagating a message that he was commanded to do. He was commanded by Allah. Allah instructed him, He told him everything that He had to do. He goes to Taif, He gets stuck. Stoned, pelted, stoned. When the Messenger وسلم, came out of Taif bleeding. Imagine, it's the desert, it's a shade, it's hot. It's hot. Bleeding, it's hot, it's dried up. Now it is on his heel, hot, glued to his sandal and his heel. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. How defeated must you feel? How defeated must you feel? Think about that. You think that you take an L? You take you think that you've taken an L? That's an L. But he didn't look at it that way. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wallahi, we're not even how is it that even we know these these stories, these narrations? Wallahi, people have done the heavier lifting for us. We sit over here want to act like we have knowledge. Please, bro, people used to travel for knowledge. What am I? And I'm no different. I'm no different. 
people have really sacrificed themselves for the sake of Allah and good for them, man. And may Allah increase them and guide us all. I mean, anyways, let's get back to this. <clears throat> Messenger comes out of Taif, feeling defeated, feeling low. But su subhanAllah, surprisingly enough, not surprisingly, but subhanAllah, anyways, the Messenger وسلم, is more concerned that this event isn't an indicator that Allah is displeased with him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wants to make sure that Allah, you're not, this is not an indicator that you're upset with me, Allah. Allah, as long as you don't leave me, Allah, that's all we need, isn't it? Isn't that true? All we need is you, Allah. Nothing else. Because when these things are taken from us and our world is shaken a little bit, we only call upon you because that's an indicator that we only, we only call upon you. That was really, really sad. At least I feel sad because of even telling that story. Then what happens? <laughs> people shame you. People shame you outside. You go outside and people ridicule you all damn day, making you look crazy, make you think you're crazy. You have a handful of people who are following the message at this point. You're like, am I doing something wrong? What's, what's up? Like, am I doing something wrong? No, do not. This is all part of the plan. And Allah is in control of the hearts. Imagine feeling like this all day, but you come home to the only woman who believes you. Obviously, there's companions and there's female, um, you know, companions as well, too, and important women in Islam. But I mean from the comforter. She was the first woman who believed you when you were running, came home, confused. I don't understand what just happened. You're thinking something's wrong with me. She's saying there's nothing that can ever be wrong with you. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Go inside, please. You see me? Thank you. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Imagine that. Ain't that something, huh? Only woman who believed you, she comforted you. She was there for you. And now... She's not there for you. She's returned back to Allah. She's gone. How must you feel? How must you feel? Knowing that Allah has chosen you for some greatness. But then it's the same Rab who's challenging you. Who's testing you. And it's all from him. But the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never left his gratitude. Not once. She's taken from him. This is the year of sorrow. Okay. Okay, you still go out. You propagate. You do it for the sake of Allah. Protection comes from Allah. Honor comes from Allah. Oh, my cat. Oh, my cat's going on. Honor is that everything. It all comes from Allah. Dignity stems from Allah. You want to practice this name? This quality, this characteristic of Allah, you want to honor this? You want to, you want to practice upon this? Then learn to not do someone's basti. Keep someone's dignity. Keep someone's honor, you know? If we would like to be honored by Allah, we wouldn't want to, want to be disgraced on the Day of Judgment. Let's not try to openly disgrace people. I mean, anyways, you still go out, but you still have some safety. You have some safety, you have some protection, you have obviously some companions, people who are following you at this time, but you're, you're still safe. People are messing with you, but you still know that you're safe. Well, kiss, uh, kiss that goodbye. That's gone. That's whew, gone. Why? The Messenger وسلم, lost a loved one, another loved one of his, his uncle. An uncle that was protecting him and and making sure that no one did anything too crazy to him or assassinated him he's gone and the connection of your uncle that's your uncle he was close to him okay all this is going down and allah then honors the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam with this gift 
I'm here to let you know right now that if you are going through some heartache, some trouble, some turmoil, if you remain patient, grateful, then Allah will grant you a miracle just like Isra wa Miraj happened to the Messenger وسلم, Because if you are going through that right now, some, some trouble, some, some turmoil, some heartbreak, some issues right now, just know that you are following that Sunnah path. That is the Sunnah path. And the Messenger وسلم, in this year of sorrow remained patient. And that's when his doors got unlocked and we were given Isra wa Miraj. What a miracle, what an honor, what a gift given to the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This gift literally was a gift for the messenger who then the messenger being so generous Sallallahu Alaihi gave it to us. I'll explain. So this night's journey happens. We know some of the story, right? Of whatever we remember, maybe taught in weekend school. Gets on a burak. How cool is a burak? How many, how many of y'all wish I had a Barak when you heard that story? I wish I had a Barak. Oh, God. I went to, when I went to Palestine, um, there is a Barak like wall that shares with the Wailing Wall, if I'm not mistaken. It's, I went down there. It was surreal. The Barak is right there. The, like, the, I can't see the Barak, obviously. But they said that this is where the Barak was pinned. And like, like, I don't know. It was just like there. And then it's just, it was a crazy, surreal experience, just so to speak, right? I might try to find some videotape of it or stuff. Anyways, getting back to the story. So, gets there from Mecca to Masjid Al Aqsa, right? So from one Qibla to the other Qibla. Okay. <coughs> and by the way, in the comment section below, could you tell me right now if the Qibla at this point was um, was Mecca or was it? Masjid Aqsa still. Tell me in the comment section below. I like I like dropping these little things to cause you guys to research a little bit or maybe research for this answer within the comment section below if you're not uh, Googling it right now. May Allah forgive me and I, I'm I'm trying. I'm just trying it like a different a different thing for you guys. Hopefully you guys benefit from it. And uh, the only way I'll truly know if uh, you benefited from it is on the day of judgment. So may Allah accept from us and uh, remind us to just keep working hard. Really, that's what the messenger saw some had to tell himself. Just keep working hard. It's all going to pay off. Keep working hard. But this is the year of sorrow. He's feeling sad. So Allah honors him with this. Okay, good. We get him over there. That in itself, imagine that journey. Right? What? A roller coaster. Like, that must be crazy. Going from uh, Mecca to Masjid Al-Aqsa. Like, whew, the speed of light. You know what I mean? Woo. That must be crazy. Okay. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Honestly, like, what, what, what an amazing... I love telling this story, but, you know... I love this myself. Anyways, <clears throat> gets there, leads the salah for like all the. <laughs> come on now, <laughs> come on now. Well, hi, we we love all the other messengers, but the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the leader of them all. Never be shy. Yeah, you know we speak to Christians and we love them. We love them. I love you. Love you. Love you, brothers and sisters. For the sake of Allah, may Allah guide you all. May Allah guide us all. All that. But the Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is number one. Don't ever forget that. Don't ever feel like, well, you know, although the messengers are equal too. Don't get caught up in that thinking. No, 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 no. The Messenger was the Imam in Isra al Miraj. That night, the Isra al Miraj, he, he led the Salah for everyone. Never forget that. That's an honor. Never forget that. Be proud of that. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. They want to paint him and make him into a monster because they know how amazing this guy is. People saw the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's face when he migrated to Medina. They said that when I saw this man's face, I knew this face wasn't the face of a liar. People believed him just from the face. He, they've tried to make him look, they want to paint him and all that. Why? They can't dishonor him, but they dishonor us because we become so emotional and just want to flip it, become an angry mob. What, what's wrong with us? No, 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 no. It's an intellectual battle. It's an intellectual battle. Ooh. Okay. 
This happened. Sorry, I got a little rip in the little sheet right here. Anyways, let's get back to the Astral Mirage SQ. That's what happens. That's why I unsubscribed to you three years ago. Because you just go on these tangents. I love you. Okay, anyways. Astral Mirage. The ascent happens from a specific spot that Allah knows best, but that we think we've seen in Masha Al-Aqsa. Amazing. We got to go to Masjid Al-Aqsa, right? We got to have a tour for Masjid, Masjid Al-Aqsa, man. Masjid. Well, well, what a surreal experience. I should drop those vlogs, but I don't. I was just like, uh, who wants to watch him? Who wants to see him? I've, I've, I have crazy insecurities myself that I'm trying to learn to deal with. And that's just the beauty of this thing. I'm, I'm learning as I'm going. Oh, my battery's about to finish. Okay. Uh, let me figure this out.